competition is heating up on the biggest hit of the song. You are a star. You really are. And if you thought it was tough so far, you ain't seen nothing yet. Last week, <laughs> the Axe fought it out to chase their dream in Hollywood. That's what I'm talking about. You are a Vegas show. Four more were sent into the semifinals. Has my studio one Deborah Roman, Jeremy Van Schoenhoven, joining some of the best talent in America. Top 20. Tonight, 12 more quarterfinalists perform. And for the first time on America's Got Talent's live stage, an act so big, so dangerous, so electrifying that we're taking the stage outside. Competing for your votes tonight, Demaniac, New Covenant, Anna and Patrick, Lindsay Sterling, Doogie Horner, Rudy Kaj, Taylor Matthews, Mary Ellen, Architect, Prince Bobby Cop, Murray, and Strikers All Star. It's time to unleash the talent. Live from Hollywood. This is America's Got Talent. Now, here's your host, Nick Cannon. thing on their mind, a place in the semifinals. It's the same rules, only four will make it through. They gotta be focused, they gotta be professional, and they gotta be better than they've ever been before. For the ultimate winner, y'all know what it is, one million dollars, and they'll be starring in America's Got Talent national tour, including headlining a show at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Yeah, for those tickets to see that show, stay tuned. Come on, y'all, you guys wanna see that, right? Who goes through to the semifinals? It's up to you, but don't worry. We got you some help for those tough decisions. It is our America's Got Talent judges. X's as well. Now, if the act gets three X's, we pull the plug. But as always, you can still vote for them at home. Okay, we got lots to do. Let's get to it. Are you ready, America? First up, a dance crew with a difference. They are the Maniacs. Maniacs are a group of guys from all walks of life that come together in the name of dance. You're going to Vegas. I lived this so loud all my life. <laughs> You're going straight to Hollywood. Congratulations. The Maniacs in Hollywood! We love entertaining so much, almost as much as food. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're a group of friends who came together to do halftime shows at basketball games. What started out as something fun is now something we take very seriously. These guys are my brothers, my family, my best friends, you know. Ex except when they do that. 
two yeah to eat. When you think of a dance crew, you think of fit people, not a bunch of guys all different sizes or heavy. But then when they hit the stage, the audience goes nuts. Wait, Funk. But as a headlining act in Vegas, I don't know. Here we go, from the top. Tonight we're doing a tribute to two wonderful eras of music. Boo! What? We're two, here to win. We're here to give it to America, baby. We're about to shake the ground. Yeah. All right, y'all, here we go. From Dallas, Texas, give it up for the Maniacs. <laughs> Way to blaze it, but of course, the party pooper himself, Piers Morgan. <laughs> uh, look, thank you. Music, music to my ears. Um, gentlemen, look, I do like you. You are very entertaining in a strange manner. Um, but there is a reason why most dancers are not your size. Um, and you know, there is already a, a TV show competition for you. It's called The Biggest Loser. So... Well, there is. For me, it, just, it lacks a certain grace and agility around the stage. That's all I'm saying. But I do like you as individuals. Thank you. We understand. Sharon. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Good evening. Well, my darlings, um... We are not true professional dancers in the sense that we all know, are we? But you bring dance and comedy together, and it's entertaining. It's not the best that I've ever seen, but you make me smile, and I really do like... I enjoy you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Howie! Wow. You know what? But, but to stand out at this point of the competition, you've got to be really good. Or really bad, so people know. And you're you're someplace in the middle. It's a lot of fun, but I don't know. I are you the guys from Philadelphia, and you came back without robot costumes this week? <laughs> no. And you look familiar. Is is your name Russell? You look like a guy I know, Russell. You don't. You have nothing to do with television. You don't direct television. <laughs> okay. Well, I, you know what? It's in the middle. I don't get it. I don't think you can win with this. I'm being honest. Okay. Well, the maniacs. How did you guys feel about your performance? You know, we, we humbly accept uh, your criticism, but it's such an honor to be on this stage to show incredible unity to this country, just to show the unity and also tell people, live your life without limits. There's room for everybody if you just open your minds. That's our message. All right. Well, to vote for the Maniacs, call 1-866-60-AGT-01. That's 1-866-602-4801. If you're with AT&T, you can text the word VOTE to 4801. You can vote up to 10 times per voting method, but not yet. I'll tell you when. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the Maniacs. Got their bellies out. Still to come tonight, 
We've got death-defying stunts, mind-blowing illusions, red-hot singing and dancing, and we unleash a lightning storm in Los Angeles. Only on America's Got Talent. We'll be right back. To a great start it's live in Hollywood. Anything can happen, right, guys? <laughs> Whoever wins America's Got Talent this year will be touring the country with a live stage show hosted by Jerry Springer, and it will star all your favorite acts. They're playing 25 cities. It's going to be a great show. So for tickets, go to NBC.com slash AGT. Now, next tonight, four church gospel singers looking to spread the word about their talent. They are New Covenant. Well, we believe that we have talent. You would make me want to go to church. See you in Las Vegas. Baby, baby. Ever been to Hollywood? You're going now. I'm Willie. And I'm Michael. I'm Mark. I'm Chris. And we are New, New Covenant. Covenant. We got started singing out in churches. My father's the pastor of our church. Uh, my mother's the first lady. Words can explain how big they are in our lives. If I can give them a million dollars, that would not be enough to show how much we appreciate them. New Covenant is a gospel group, but to be a headlining act in Vegas, you gotta be broader than that. You have to appeal to just more than gospel. The song that we're doing is, you know what I'm saying, kind of popish, so it's gonna be kind of hard for us to try to bring energy to a kind of slower song. Oh, you want Use your face. You're just not giving me any energy at all. Well, I just want to see that you guys believe in yourself. This is proven to be harder than we thought, but together, we're going to make this happen. From Cleveland, Ohio, here are New Covenant. Ten feet off the ground I'm hearing what you say But I just can't make a sound You tell me that you need me Then you go and cut me down But wait You tell me that you're sorry Didn't think I'd turn around And say that it's too late to apologize It's too late New Covenant, keep it going for them. All right, fellas, Miss Sharon. Yeah, guys, you look, firstly, you look incredible. You move well together. You've got great stage presence, but the harmonies were not happening tonight. They really weren't. That's why I buzzed you. You've got everything going, but those harmonies, and when there's four of you, you know, when you're on your own, I can understand it, you know, but you've got a safety net because there's four of you and it just wasn't happening vocally for me tonight. Howie? You know, the thing is that this is live television and I know that this moment means so much to you. The weight of that really showed because I think, and, and it's not only for us to say, you were flat. It was a little bit flat in a lot of places. It sounded to me like it was flat. I would imagine it sounded the same to the people at home. So, and, and sometimes nerves can do that to you. And I think this was uh, a lot of pressure. And, and I don't know that you rose to that occasion. I believe you have the talent to. I think this was not your moment. Pierce. Yeah, I'm afraid that's bang on. I mean, you were flat as a pancake for half of it. 
um, and not much better than the rest. And I felt really sorry for you because I've liked you guys from the start. I think what we've discovered, pop songs are not your thing. You know, I just thought the song choice was wrong. I think you are a gospel group. And I think that's what you're used to. I think that's where you're comfortable. And when you've sung that kind of music, I've really got into you. Tonight, wrong song choice. You know, who knows? Maybe America will feel sorry for you like I do. Give me another chance. But I hope they do, because I like you. All right, new covenant. I mean, do you guys agree with the judges? Well, we, we kind of, we put our hearts in this. You know, we gave it all we got. You know, it was kind of difficult, but I thought we did good, though. But we, we take the criticism, though. Okay. To so vote for the guys, call one 60 agt 2 That's one 60 Or text the word VOTE to 4802. But wait until the end of the show. Right now, let's hear it one more time for New Covenant. After the break, our youngest contestants hit the dance floor. And America's newest comedian hopes to make the whole country laugh. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Up next, two young ballroom dancers who are already so dedicated they practice two hours every day. They are Anna and Patrick. Very, very good dancers. Thank you. We're ready to go out there and show the judges that we got talent. We're gonna see you in Hollywood. <laughs> when the judges told us that we went through, we were just screaming like crazy. <laughs> Me and Anna have been dancing together for about four years, and we met at a dancing studio. Since we've been on the show, we've got a lot of attention from our friends at school. like. The girls, when they see me dance, they're like, wow. <laughs> they are like Olympic athletes who've been trained from birth to do something exquisitely. Anna and Patrick are very serious. I'd like to see more of their personality when they dance. Da, 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 do, do, nice. We're so serious. Have fun. Lighten up. Oh, you guys can smile. Thank you. Tonight is a really, really important performance for us. We got different backup dancers, different music. We're going to show America just how much we love to dance. From New Hyde Park and Math with New York, please welcome Anna and Patrick.
they do. As Nick said, as Nick said, way to bring it. You know what? There is no denying that you two are spectacularly talented, amazing technicians at what you do. The question that always, from the beginning, from the first time I saw you is, if this was a ballroom dancing show or a ballroom dancing contest, you win, hands down. You deserve gold medals. But it's not. America has to decide whether what you're doing is what they see giving a million dollars to and a headlining act in Vegas. And I don't know if you fit that, but you are world-class talent in what you do. Thank you. Here. So they're world-class, but you don't think they could ever be a success. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I don't know if that would be a headlining act in Las Vegas. That's what I'm saying. Right. Well, let, let me be slightly more helpful, because I do know world-class talent when I see it. Oh. And I could see you in Vegas tomorrow, you two. <laughs> because you've got, you've got everything we look for. I mean, I have seen you every stage get better. Audition, great. Vegas, better. Tonight... The maturity. I mean, how old are you two? Twelve. Twelve years old. <laughs> and yet, the choreography that you brought there, the way you, the chemistry. I mean, it's like the complete opposite to Howie and me. You know, <laughs> people can tell you like each other. You know, you enjoy working together. Uh, it was it was great. I think you two are little stars, and you could win. <laughs> Sharon. Yeah, Anna and Patrick. I mean, we've seen you do the cha-cha, the tango, now the jive. Right. You are so versatile. And do, you you, with, do you agree with me or Piers? I agree with Piers because yeah. <laughs> ballroom, <laughs> ballroom dancing is so huge all over the world right now. You know, there are tours that go out. They sell out every night. Uh, you could do unbelievable business in Vegas. Your coordination is spot on. I like to see you do something where you're now smiling for us. I love that, to see you <laughs> smile. See? We need more of and that. And by the way, everyone in America is going to agree with me and Sharon. All right? And not well, Harry. we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Anna and Patrick, you guys blaze the stage. I just got one question. Between the two of you, who's in charge? Me, actually. <laughs> well, I would like to be... <laughs> <laughs> I think she's in charge. <laughs> All right, to vote for Anna and Patrick, you have to vote. Call 1 866 60 AGT 03. That's 1 866 Or text the word vote to 4803. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Anna and Patrick. Coming up, violin playing like you've never heard it before. And one of the most terrifying acts America has ever seen. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent, live from Hollywood. The energy in here tonight is on fire. And here are three words you don't often hear in the same sentence. Hip-hop violinist. But that's exactly what our next act is. She's Lindsey Sterling. Being a hip-hop violinist is kind of out of the ordinary. I'm going to say yes. Everything I stand for is be who you want to be. We go into Hollywood. Well, I'm coming from Provo, Utah. It's a pretty small town, so being here in Hollywood is kind of mind-blowing. So a lot of people are really surprised when they hear that I'm Mormon and then I do hip-hop violin. I want to stand for the fact that I haven't compromised any of my values, and you can be what you want to be, and you can stand for everything you want to be at the same time. What I like about Lindsay is that she combines a traditional instrument with a very modern flavor kind of routine, and that's exciting. I think what she does is different. That being said, two times that I've seen her have not been different from each other. She has to be different tonight. This song is faster, the dancing is a lot faster. My concern for tonight is running into my backup dancers and um, not to drop my violin. I'm a little nervous, but I really think it's gonna come together and I think it's gonna be the best performance of my life. From Gilbert, Arizona, here is Lindsey Sterling. If 
Allow me to allow me to explain myself, uh, Lindsay. Look, I love you and your look, and the choreography was great. The whole thing was great. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. I mean, there were times in there when it was OK, and there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Aww. Seriously, that bad. Well, well and, thank you. You know, you're not untalented, but you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. That's what I learned tonight. All right, thank you. Okay. How do you know how rats being strangled sound? Uh, because I, I strangled ten of them last night. I, I, they were all called Howie. I've been growing them for years. <laughs> Yeah, Sherry. white and bald and very annoying. <laughs> Lindsay, you're here because you're unique and we loved you at the audition. And, you know, <laughs> you remind me of a little cartoon character. That's what you remind me of. But now I've seen you three times. I think the problem is with you, you need to be in a group. You need to sing her. You need to find a group of people to work with. And I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. I don't. You need a group. But you're here because we love you and you are incredibly talented. Thank you. Howie. Well, you know, you have to realize, and this goes for anybody here tonight, to get to this point, you're already a winner. To have this kind of exposure, to get this far, you're already a winner. I hate, I hate, I hate what I'm about to say, and that is, P Piers is right, but he probably saw my face and that's where he got the ideas. But the thing is, the thing is, he's right, you are great, and, but th that much movement made you not as great as you were, and I get what you were doing, you needed to step it up, but being thrown around kind of threw off your playing. It did, right? Yeah. We didn't just hear that, there were notes missing, right? Yeah, definitely wasn't my best performance, but I gave it my all, and that's all you can do. And you should be very proud of it. All right, Lindsay, so you said you gave it your all. Now, how different is this performance, I mean, in front of millions, than what you're used to normally? Well, I play in small local venues that maybe house like 50 people in Provo. Um, I've never headlined before. I never do my own hip hop music, so this is completely new for me. And I absolutely love it. I've got lots more that I've been working on, and I would love to come back. So. All right. Well, you want Lindsay to come back? Call 1 866 60 AGT 04. That's 1 866 
602-468-0604. Or you can text the word vote to 4804. But not yet. Voting will be open for two hours after the show. Ladies and gentlemen, make that noise one more time for Lindsey Sterling. Coming up, a flamboyant finger hopes to win your heart. And an illusionist who blew the judges away at the audition hopes to raise his game. We'll be right back. to America's Got Talent. Okay, our next act has already had a wild roller coaster ride on this show, but tonight he's hoping to leave America laughing. He's Doogie Horner. Come to do some stand-up comedy. Already? This is the worst crowd I've ever performed for! And they were turning on you, and you turned it right back on them. You're going to Hollywood. I'm the only comedian in the top 48. I feel like a, like a red panda or something, or a rare endangered bird. A pretty normal, boring life. Go to work. I design book covers of a dog. Very talented dog. I see myself in Doogie Horner. He really is a funny, smart character. The last time I performed for an audience on this show, it did not go well. You are terrible people. What's the matter with you? So I'm a little concerned. They're just going to start hating me immediately. Doogie's not funny, and his only talent appears to be abusing audiences. I can do that. Piers hasn't liked me in the past. I don't know, maybe he's got a broken heart. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a machine. <laughs> he's a judge robot. I don't know. 90 seconds is nothing for anybody, but it's even less for a comedian. I hope this is the beginning of my career as opposed to just like a weird, uh, you know, freak accident. Good luck, Doogie. It's going to be tough tonight. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here's Doogie Horner. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Whoa, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Great to be here. Thank you very much, it's great to be here. Uh, the producers have asked me if I could make my act a little more exciting. Maybe add a little Hollywood razzle-dazzle. And I have said, no. No, I can't do that. Because I'm an artist, and I refuse to compromise the integrity of my jokes by adding a bunch of pointless special effects. And I think they really uh, respect that, so I feel good about that. A lot of people think cockroaches are going to inherit the Earth because they can survive an atomic bomb blast. But you know what? I can survive being smacked with a shoe. <laughs> Might be a closer race than people think. I hate talking to new people. And when I say new people, I mean babies. Oh, 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 okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like that one, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's more deadly? The great white shark's gnashing teeth, its thrashing tail, or its subtle racism? <laughs> Two of them you can avoid by staying out of the water. Maybe that's a hint. My okay, well, my wife accused me of being a misogynist, and I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd a pretty girl like you learn a big word like misogynist? <laughs> Crazy dame. No, oh, okay. All right, I get it. Yep. You're making a mockery of my comedy. All right. Way to go, Doogie. And the pig ladies. Doogie and the pig ladies. Good stuff. Thank you. Sharon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Doogie. Mrs. Osborne. How are you, darling? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm really good. Thank you. Thank you. You know that you did make Mr. Piers Morgan laugh, didn't what? you? What? Yes. Whoa. He smiled. There's he a glitch did. in the system. He did. He oh, did. He tried good. not to. I saw him biting his cheeks, but he <laughs> did. He did smile, I awesome. promise you. Awesome. Yes, you made me laugh. It was very silly, um, but I liked it. You're silly, but it's awesome. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Silly. Mr. Mandel, 
I say this all the time. This is the hardest contest for comedians. It really is. And we come, we come at a disadvantage because people come with all this production. I think you owned it. You made it about this show. I thought it was funny how your routine enveloped what we needed in the production here. It, it made me smile. It made me laugh. It made him laugh. I don't know if he'll admit it, but I was just looking at him. He didn't buzz you. I think it was great, Doogie. It really was. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Mr. Piers Morgan. Well, this is a very uncomfortable moment for me. I apagize. Uh... You and I, Doogie, have been on a long journey, haven't we? Uh, extreme agony at your audition, one of the unfunniest things I've ever had to watch. Definitely, yes. Um, followed by, in my view, an even bigger car crash in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. And I, I was determined tonight to find you about as funny as a smack in the chops. Yep. Having said that, <laughs> that would be there's fun. something about your head and the way you speak and the kind of <laughs> nut job way that you go about your comedy, and it finally got to me tonight. And I, I have to say, I have to say the words I truly never thought I'd say. Doogie, you're funny. Thank wow. you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. You said you're funny, Doogie. How's that feel? Feels good. I, I'm glad I wore this shirt. <laughs> Here's Morgan Fan Club. <laughs> To put Doogie into the semifinals, call 1-866-60-AGT-05. That's 1-866-60-248-05. Calls are toll-free from landlines, or you can text the word VOTE to 4805. For more information and to vote online, log on to NBC.com. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the funny man, Doogie Horner. After the break... You won't believe what you're going to see when the acrobat takes the stage and a young singer unleashes his voice for your vote. That's all coming up on America's Got Talent. This is America's Got Talent, and we are live from Hollywood. So anything can happen. Tomorrow night, we'll find out which of tonight's 12 acts we're going to put through to the semifinals. And I got to tell you guys right now, only four are going to make it. And yeah, yeah it's kind of tough, right? But we got some great singers that will be in the building. One of the hottest acts to break out of the UK, Mr. Tayo Cruz, will be here. And the legendary singer-songwriter, Mr. Brett Michaels, will be in the building. That's all tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central, so be here. Okay, next tonight, you guys got to get ready to go wow. He's attempting one of the most dangerous acts that we've ever seen on this show. He's Rudy Makaji. What's your name? Rudy Makaji. There is a possibility that I can fall on my head and crack my skull open and blood can be spilled all over the floor. I like you. I waited for this all my life. I want to go to Hollywood. We like you. Yes! Performing, it's all I have. I am a third generation circus acrobat. It wasn't an easy life. When I was young, I ran away from the circus. I felt there was something else. So I moved to New York and I performed anywhere I could. And uh, that's when I met my true love, Lee. He's an incredible acrobat. But most of all, he's quite unpredictable. The act, which is called the circular saw of death, makes me nervous. He's really willing to risk his life because this is his life. You get the feeling he will do literally anything to win. And that could be quite disturbing. My face is this close from that circular saw. I don't practice that one because it's taking too many chances. When America sees my act tonight, they will never forget it. Wow, people don't even think about trying this at home. From New York, give it up for Rudy Makaji.
fellow scientists and neurosurgeons, ladies and gentlemen, tonight for your physiological and intellectual pleasure, I will risk my life. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the circular saw of death. What you're about to see tonight is not an illusion. What you're about to see tonight is real. For those of you who are sensitive at heart, I would recommend to keep your eyes closed. I was uh, I was looking the other way, and I, you know I apologize as a judge because the first rule of judging is to look. I I broke that rule. You said if you're faint of heart and sensitive, and I am faint of heart and I'm sensitive, and and it, when you call something the something of death, it takes the fun out of it for me. You know, <laughs> death is not fun. But I was looking at their faces, and they reacted, and you're still alive, and there you are. So I assume it was great. Mr. Piers Morgan. Rudy, I hate you! <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in all my years doing this. I mean, there was a moment there when I thought if he slips, falls on that thing, and his head starts rolling off the stage, you know what I was thinking? Where does that leave my career? <laughs> never mind your head. That was the most extraordinary, dangerous, exciting thing I think I've ever seen on this show. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sharon. Sure. I tell you, Rudy. She I, was, she was, I was collapsing. <laughs> it was like watching a horror movie it on was, there. Wasn't it? <gasps> it was unbelievable. And you are, in the true sense of the word, an entertainer. Yeah, you please. bring danger. We love that danger. And you know what? You come from. I hate to say this, but somewhat of a dying breed because true circus people, there are very few and far between real true circus people. And, you know, you delivered it Brilliant. tonight. There's, it's so gracious part of your act and then the danger, I just love it. So well done. Right. To keep Rudy in the competition, call one 866 ADT 6 that's one 866 Or text the word vote to 4806. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Rudy Makaji and Leah. I like you. Okay, next up, a young singer hoping to impress his dad and America. He's Taylor Matthews. I'm shaking like a dog. You're going to Hollywood. I think music has pretty much taken over my life. <laughs> That's how I connect with people. That's my social connection to the world. I was inspired by my dad to start singing and playing guitar because he used to do that when he was a kid. I met a woman that I wanted to marry. I had to make a choice. I wanted to have a family and I gave up music. If you would ever think of a perfect son, Taylor would be him. It's super exciting to be here in Hollywood, seeing all the cameras, 
I'm just new to all this, and so it's getting my anxious nerves kind of jumping around. He's not pretending to be something he isn't. You know, what you see is what you get, and I like that. Taylor, to me, is still in his comfort zone. He's got to produce a massive performance tonight. Tonight, I'm definitely going to be nervous, but I'm going to try to draw on all my courage and uh, give the best performance of my life. From Alexandria, Louisiana, here's Taylor Matthews. Going back to the corner where I first saw you Gonna keep in my sleeping bag, I'm not gonna move Got some words on cardboard, got your picture in my head Saying, if you see this girl, can you tell her where I am? Cause if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I can be Thinking maybe you come back here to the place that we need And you see me waiting for you on the corner of the street So I'm not Famous is a man who can't be moved And maybe you won't mean to But you see me on the news And you'll come front into the corner Because you know this is for you I'm the man who can't be moved I can't be moved And think you maybe you come back See me waiting for you on the corner of the street Going back to the corner where I first saw you Gonna camp in my sleeping bag I'm not gonna move Taylor Matthews Got the people on their feet <laughs> Here's Morgan. How'd he do? Okay, Taylor. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, Taylor, I want you to critique yourself. Tell me how you think you did. Um... From the sound of it, I think it did pretty good. <laughs> Here's what I thought. I thought that there were a few shaky bits in that performance. I thought it was a definitely coming out of the comfort zone song to choose. And I was a bit worried when I heard what it was. I thought, I wonder if you can pull it off. But there were moments in that performance, it's not perfect, but there were moments when I saw a real potential pop star in front of me. Wow. Thank you. Sharon. Yeah, Taylor, each time I've seen you, your um, performance has got stronger and you've got m more and more comfortable with yourself being on this stage. So, I mean, I can't wait to see you again, to see how further you've come along. Uh, it was a bit shaky at times, but you know what? Forget all that. You've definitely got something yeah. about you. you definitely. <laughs> how? I think this, this particular performance was your rockiest out of the three. That being said, you are still great. America loves you. And I bet you make it to the finals. I bet you do. <laughs> this was not your best performance, though. I'm sad, I'm sad. All right. We got a vote for my man Taylor. Call 1-866-60-AGT-07. That's 1-866-60-248-07. Or check the word vote for 4807. America, make some noise for Taylor Matthews. After the break, this hair-raising singer will get everybody dancing. Yeah. And will lightning strike more than once in Hollywood? Find out when we come back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Now, next up, 
our sexiest contestant of the night. Oh, I'm already hot bothered. Fellas, get ready. It's Mary Ellen. My name's Mary Ellen Aline Renee. Okay. You're absolutely barking mad, but I love you. So glad that I could make it in Las Vegas and try for my heart. Mary Ellen, you're going to Hollywood. In my hometown, Mannheim, Pennsylvania, my my daily life is just playing my music and practicing every day. I traveled across the country to get here. It took me three days to get to Hollywood, but it was worth it. But I'm still looking for a second husband. They're going to be working closely with you. OK. Oh, and he's cute. That's oh, nice man. Picture. If I see a hunk taking his shirt off, you know, I might miss a key. <laughs> She's one of a kind, and I can't take my eyes off of her. <laughs> She's not been able to keep to 90 seconds at once. If she goes over tonight, we'll have to pull the phone. <laughs> I can stop the music sometimes, but I'm working at it. We have only 90 seconds. 30 seconds, you know. We've got to get 30 seconds off, otherwise they're not going to pull out the <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Get ready to hold down from Manhattan, Pennsylvania. Here is Mary Ellen. Mama, I'm sorry I had to pull the plug on you. Mary Ellen, y'all, Mary Ellen. Boy, you lucky I'm married, Mary Ellen. Howie. <laughs> I'm Howie. Going to this time, Howie. <laughs> you're, Mary, you're, uh, you're truly a trendsetter. You really are. And you're, you are wonderfully unique and different, and people are going to be talking about you tomorrow. I love you. I really love you. You are unique and different, and I love the whole look, and I love the sound, and I lo you know I love you, right? I know that. I know. Sharon! Um, Mary Ellen, you don't seem happy tonight. What's the problem? Um, I had a, have a virus, which we had to get some CVS down here. And Wait, you have Hollywood. a virus? Yeah, it's a virus. And oh. Kind of rocking a little bit. You yeah. Know, off I, a little bit. Yeah, I, I could that? tell there was something not right, Wait, Mary yeah. Ellen. Thank you could you. tell there was something not right. Absolutely. Now, Mary I Ellen... I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Mary Ellen, why would... Did, the, did your, um, one of your male dancers tell you when to start? Because I heard you were having a little conversation at the beginning. Uh, yeah. My male dancer? Yes. Uh, yes, they didn't come down close when we were practicing. That was it. That 
that was it. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Just checking. Is the Council. virus infectious? No, this one's not. It's been in, uh, I have it now two years, and they're trying to give me different things. All right. Two so look, years. Look, look. Yeah. yeah. Mary they don't Mary know what's wrong with Mary it. Mary uh, can I just bring it back? Bizarre. Can I bring this back to the competition, if it's all right with everybody else, please? Sure, Piers. Looking at, looking at Howie Mandel, the only reason that you're at this stage of the competition is because of Howie's enduring love for you as a performer. And, and, maybe, and, yes. maybe you could now do us all a favour, given you've got a very unpleasant virus, and sneeze all years. over him <laughs> and murder him. I love him too. I love you too. I love <laughs> To vote for Mary Ellen, call 1-866-60-AGT-08. That's one 866 6024808. Or text the word vote to 4808. For more information and to vote online, log on to NBC.com. There's a limit of 10 votes per voting method. Please don't vote yet. I'll tell you when. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very sexy Mary Ellen. All right. After the break, a truly electrifying act with one of the most incredible sights you will ever see. Don't go away. It is crazy in here. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Next, an act who generated an unbelievable buzz at the auditions. Literally, they also generated about one million volts of electricity. Now, if they did their act inside, they'd blow every circuit in the building, and all our hair would be standing on end, except for Howie's. So, uh, <laughs> we asked them to perform on a special stage outside. They are Architect. Wow. Wow! Wow! We're a dynamic production with electricity and thunder. They're going straight to Hollywood. Congratulations. We at Architect are unique because we are the only group in the world that plays music with lightning. We make our own equipment from scratch. Everything that you see is made by us in our garage. Our machines produce one million volts of electricity. It's extremely dangerous. Death by a Tesla coil would be a very slow and very painful thing. Can you imagine what it's like to sit close to something like that? How dangerous? Wait a minute. This act is one of the most dangerous we've ever seen. In fact, it's so dangerous, we've had to build a stage outside just so we can see it. What we're doing, no one has ever seen before. Our show is perfect for Vegas. From Austin, Texas, give it up for Architect. I may or may not be Iron Man.
was crazy. That was amazing. Uh, we're going to go back inside and hear what the judges thought right after the break. America's Got Talent. Now, before the break, Architect lit up the sky with the unbelievable act. Now, we're all back inside, and let's hear from the judges. Howie? Well, you know what? I don't know that TV does you justice. When I saw you first time at the audition, it, you are so exciting. You are so Vegas. People don't realize that those notes are coming out of the electricity. You feel the electricity. It's the most exciting live show. I would buy tickets to see this anytime. I would. Wow. Here's. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, I agree with Howie. I'm not sure how this comes through a TV screen, but I've got to say, being outside watching you performing live, it is one of the most unique acts we've ever had. And what I like about it is each time it feels to me like it's got a little bigger, a little bit more dangerous, dare I say it, more exciting. But there's something there that I think could really be a successful Vegas act. So congratulations. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Sharon. Guys. In like 10 seconds, tell me, wh how does the electricity work with your instruments? Tell me that, quick, come okay, on. Okay, the guitar is computerized. It uses a standard uh, MIDI signal. Oh, and that clears it up. Yeah, that well, does. Shush, 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 go on. <laughs> MIDI is uh, the musical instrument device interface. It's what electronic music is used to transmit through electronic. Okay, I, I, think, I think we may have okay. to <laughs> Somebody that okay. can speak I got this. easily. Uh, can you hear me through the helmet? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, the spark works like a speaker cone. Okay. Exactly the same. We're moving air at a certain frequency. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll explain guitar. it to her later. I'll explain it to her later. Shut up. Yeah. We're you running out of time. No, I, love, I must say that you got the audience going. It was great to see you outside. <laughs> yeah. The audience was so into it. So were we. Good I act. must say, next time you do Iron Man, though, I know a singer that could sing for you. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go for the guys. Go 1-866-60-AGT-09. That's 1-866-60-24809. Or text the word vote to 4809. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Architect. Now, for a complete change of pace and style and century, we've got royalty on the show. Hey. Here's Prince Poppycock. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. In my mind, I'm a prince. Fabulous. It's been very emotional, and I've been trying very hard for this. You're going to Hollywood. From a very young age, music was my passion and my love. I would sing all the time. But I don't have the most self-confidence. So during the day, I work in a metal shop, just trying to scrape by and support myself. But at night, when I'm putting on the makeup, Poppycock starts to peek through, and I enter into a world of fantasy, and I assume this, this new sense of confidence. I honestly adore Prince Poppycock. Underneath the makeup, the wigs, the clothes, he does have a great voice. Last time we saw Prince Poppycock, he wasn't 100% well. Tonight, he's got to be absolutely on tip-top for it. This performance is the reconciliation between myself and Poppycock. And tonight, we're going to give the performance of our lives. From Los Angeles, California, pray, give it up for Prince Poppycock. Zetu fasenam, tu se paliacho. Vesti la juba e la faccia in favina, la gente fa. Oh, 
che ognuno applauderà tra molta in là si lo spasmo e dir pianzo uh, in un asmo fielin singhiozzo e il dolor Prince Poppycock. Wow. You know what, Prince Poppycock? Thank you. You're lucky because originally Piers was going to wear this exact same outfit tonight. <laughs> you shop at JCPenney too. <laughs> Piers, what do you think? Oh, Prince Poppycock. I think you're becoming my little guilty pleasure. <laughs> and I. I hey, oh, man. That makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. But no, I'll tell you why. I, I like the two, the two people. I like the real you, which is this shy, retiring guy who, you know, buries himself away. And then at night, you become this crazy character, Prince Poppycock. But I'll tell you one thing. You can sing, and you've got great stage presence. And I look at you, and I think, could I see this guy in a Broadway show? Absolutely yes. <laughs> Sharon! My darling mm. Prince Poppycock. Mon petit bijou. <laughs> My darling, every time I see you, you get more and more theatrical, which you know I just love. And it's so refreshing to see an opera singer who's not fat and sweaty. <laughs> and you are so delightful to look at, especially in that little outfit. Now, also, too, I must say, your voice is... Perfect. Well, you are quite perfect. And I just hope that you come back. Because if you don't, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> so do I have so much in store. I cannot wait. Is that wig made of feathers? It is. It's, it's made of feathers. Fabulous. Thank you for noticing. Oh, darling, I must try it on. Oh, yes. 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 Fabulous, Howie. Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. The whole look is fabulous. It's like if, if Liza Minnelli was a clown. That, the thing is... <laughs> it's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S. Very good. <laughs> the truth is you are fabulously talented, and, and, it's, it's, and you've got a great voice, and it's very campy. The question is, will middle America respond to this? They Please, already have. they have to. Let's yes. see if they keep responding. Yes, yes. All right, we shall see. To vote for Prince Poppycock... His Highness, call 1-866-60-AGT-10. That's 1-866-60-248-10. Or text the word VOTE to 4810. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Prince Poppycock. Coming up, an illusion is intense's biggest trick ever. And a dance crew blazes the stage in their quest for glory. We'll be right back. This is America's Got Talent. We are back in Hollywood, and up next, it's Murray. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm feeling great. All right, so... Here's the Honey Nut Cheerios question of the week. Now, being a magician takes years of practice. Have you had to make any sacrifices to perfect your act? Well, you know, the sacrifices I've had to make, uh, my family is a, a railroad family. The whole family goes back 150 years in the railway, and I'm the first person to ever kind of break away from that and do tricks for a living. And I'm trying to prove to my family that uh, this is the, uh, the real job I should be doing. So it's one of those things where I could have had a very comfortable living, and I kind of sacrificed uh, that for this. All right, well, good luck tonight. Here's more on Murray. I'm Murray. My dream is to perform in Vegas. I'm not your typical magician. I can't wait to see you in Vegas. Every performance is nerve-wracking. See you in Hollywood. I started, you know, like any kid, you get a magic kit. After that, I never look back. 
My father was a type, you know, you really should look for a real job. And I just want to prove to him that magic could actually be a real job. I moved to Las Vegas to, to fill my dream, and it hasn't happened for me yet. There's times where I think I should just pack up and you know, move back home. This is the launching ground for what he wants. Tonight is the trigger. Once you've produced a great big Ferrari, what do you do next? I'm extremely worried that I've never performed this trick in my life. This is now or never. I can't afford to fail. From Las Vegas, Nevada, please welcome Murray. Good evening, Hollywood! Howie, Sharon, Pierce, good evening. Howie, I brought you a present. It's right here. Check it out. There it is. <laughs> Kelly, meet Howie. Howie, meet Kelly. Pierce, uh, can I borrow something from you? Can I borrow your sports coat, please? What? Can I borrow your jacket? Borrow it? Yeah, your sports coat, please. Well, Just, I better get I it back. I promise to give it back. I know it's gorgeous. But I promise to give it right back. Make sure you have nothing in the pockets as well. Great. Here we go. Watch carefully. A glass box, 12 feet tall, 5 feet by 5 feet. You can see above it, you can see below it, you can see 360 degrees around it. Whatever you do, do not take your eyes off the chamber. Howie, this trick is for you. For me? America, this is the trick you'll be talking about tomorrow at work. That's what I'm talking about. I just, uh, I just, I just peed myself a little bit. Just but, a little bit. <laughs> I don't. That's that is amazing, amazing that you that you would the tiger ends up in the cage and the the cougar ends up behind me. Whoa. <laughs> a pretty cougar. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It's amazing, and it is Vegas, and you uh, you wowed me, and I'm, uh, it's great. That's a real tiger, Sharon. <laughs> Murray, I don't know. I mean, every time I see you, you take it up a notch from the Ferrari. Now, I didn't know where you were going to go from that. And this, you belong in Vegas. It's... Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's all that... It's all and everything that Vegas needs. You're larger than life. It's, it's spectacular. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, Mr. Piers Morgan. Well, first of all, thank you, because when I saw the tiger and no jacket, I feared the worst. Uh, so, <laughs> and that's an expensive like, jacket. It's a I, like, I like this suit. Um, look, I, I often hear from magicians that they say we don't give magicians a fair crack of the whip on this show, that actually lots of good ones come on and we always buzz them off. The reality, from where I sit, is we don't get good enough magicians. And the kind of magician we're after is the kind that every time we see them, it gets bigger... It gets more dazzling, and as we get to this stage of the competition, you start to absolutely wow us. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. You're great. Wow, you did. Murray! I'm absolutely honored to be here, and like I said, 16 months ago, I became an American citizen, and I can't thank you enough for putting me on this stage. Thank you so much. And all three of you, thank you. Howie, Sharon, Pierce, thank you. All right. So vote for my man Murray. Call 1-866-60-AGT-11. That's 1-866-60-248-11. Or text the word vote to 4811. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Murray. Okay, you got just one more act to see, then it's time to vote. Remember, your favorites cannot go through without you. We'll be right back. Welcome back 
to America's Got Talent. We are live in Hollywood. What an amazing night, right? All of tonight's acts will have to wait until tomorrow to find out if they made it through. And we'll also have two of the biggest music stars around, Tayo Cruz and Brett Michaels, will be blazing the stage. Yes. Now, in a couple of minutes, we'll open up the voting lines. But first, we have one more act to see. They'll be dancing, stepping, and stomping. They are Strikers All-Stars. We are at Stepping Crew Haley from Tallahassee, Florida. Wow. We've come so far, we do not want to go home. They're going straight to Hollywood. Congratulations. This is by far the most amazing and ginormous opportunity we've had. We all met in college, and we all moved to Hollywood together, and we actually live together. We're a notch above best friends. We're more like brothers. We're trying to make it happen, and this is it. Break it down! I treat the group like we're going to battle. We've been preparing ourselves nonstop. Wherever we can rehearse at, we've been there. Strikers All Stars are great dancers. They deliver hip hop and stepping together. Now, these guys were so electrifying in their audition. They have a lot to live up to. So much pressure to get it right and be the best. Injuries are bound to happen. His feet slammed across my head, and the tooth went through my lip. Get you a couple stitches. Tonight, we're putting it all out there. We're not holding any punches back. It's like game time. Ready to go to war. From Tallahassee, Florida, here are Strikers All-Star. I've done it. I've done it. That's why I'm the guy to talk to. Listen, I want to be totally honest. You are incredibly talented, but here's where we are. We're in the last round of the top 48 that has already been chosen. So I have the perspective of who's already went through. The last time you did your audition, your moves, your choreography was a lot more spectacular. More of the stomping and more of the jumping. Last week we had Studio One, you know, it's a crew. They were doing a lot more acrobatics. Even when they went over the whole crew, they did a flip, whereas you walked over. It was a little more impressive, a little more wow. You stepped it down rather than stepping it up. I don't know how America will respond. Piers. Well, uh, how extraordinary. <laughs> you actually made some sense there. Um, <laughs> I think that the problem for you guys is not that it wasn't a pretty solid performance. It was. I kind of agree with Howie. I prefer the last one. But you are a good dance group. Here's the big problem. This is, without any doubt, the best of the quarterfinals so far. I've counted seven or eight acts now which ought to be going through. Only four can make it. So tomorrow night is going to be one hell of a results show because I don't know how America's going to go. I really don't. All right, Sharon? Yeah, it's, it's a real disadvantage to you guys who are great. You're very energetic, yet smooth with your performance. You own what you do. But it's so unfortunate that you are on tonight with everybody else that's performed before you. Normally, I would have said, A, it's a shoe and you're in. But 
Jeez, it's it's a real tough yeah, night for you is. to perform for us. But you did your best, and you know you're great dancers. But with lions, tigers, uh, Mary well, Ellen, where do you go? <laughs> <laughs> Strikers All Stars. They're talking about how intense the competition is. What sets you guys apart from all the other acts? Well, what sets us apart, we believe, is our purpose, which is, which is to unite and uplift brotherhood to males while promoting self-confidence and a positive image through dance and step. We believe that sets us apart. Uh, furthermore, and um, we're just grateful, you know, to be made it this far in the competition, seeing one another grow in our profession from college. We all went to Florida A&M University with college students, so we're just fortunate. Absolutely. So to vote for the All-Stars, call one 60 agt 12 that's one 866 If you're an AT&T subscriber, you can text the word VOTE to 4812. All right? Guys, got to vote for them coming up, but not yet. I will tell you when. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise one more time for Strikers All-Star. Okay, here it is. It's decision time. Who are you going to put through to the semifinals? Here are all of tonight's acts along with their voting information. My wife accused me of being a misogynist. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did a pretty girl like you learn a big word like misogynist? <laughs> Crazy thing. Maybe I'll get famous as a man who can be moved. And maybe you won't mean to. But you see me on the news and you'll come Stealing my honey, she can smoke And for all the cowboys good You're the best good little guy <laughs> Right now, it's time to change some lives. The voting lines are now open. These are 866 numbers, not 800 numbers, so dial carefully. And if you don't get through right away, do not give up. Your favorites need you. Voting will be open for two hours after the show. So, Miss Sharon, how has tonight been? This show tonight was spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Everybody is so diverse. The level of talent is like I have never seen it before. And I would not want to vote tonight. America has a really, really big job to vote here. It's going to be such a tough call. And might I say, this is the best show on TV. I love Absolutely. this show. I love it. And we love you. Tomorrow night, the results 12 acts just four spots in the next round. It's going to be brutal. And we'll have Tayo Cruz and Brett Michaels in the building. It's all going down. That's tomorrow night at 9 8 Central. Hey, I think Mary Ellen just squeezed my booty. I'm at Nick Cannon. Good night, America. I hope it was Mary Ellen. <laughs> <laughs>